And next we're using some Frank's Classic Dogs. Okay. Next we're putting six tablespoons of butter. We have our French's honey mustard right here. Really great flavor. Two tablespoons. I'm eyeballing this one. It's one tablespoon, two tablespoons. One teaspoon of paprika. One. And this is a half teaspoon right here. And then we're going to use half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Use your trusty little spatula. You're going to want to use a little brush and just brush your crescent roll dough. Get it on there nice and thick, a lot of good flavor in there. Super simple game day recipe. Now you're going to want to roll it over. Just like that. Roll this one over. Nice, quick, simple recipe. Let's cut it one more time just to make sure it's cut. Great. There we go. We got one side. Got the other side. Next, you're just going to want to cut it into one inch pieces. Next, we're going to put this right here. We got our little spring form pan. I buttered it up. And you're going to want to use that cup that you use for butter. Put it right in the middle. And start placing your little mini pigs in a blanket just around it. It's a really fun game day snack. It comes out great once it's done cooking. Just place these around there. If you're wondering why I'm leaving a hole in the middle, I'll tell you in a minute. I did a whole nother roll off screen because my crescent rolls were just acting up. You know, sometimes when you open a little crescent roll, it just doesn't do what you wanted it to do. Uh, yeah, so it popped and it was all ripped up. I salvaged it. But, uh, but yeah, it was a pain in the butt. Now the cool part is once it starts cooking, it's going to puff up and fill out this whole thing. It's going to look great. Nice, simple recipe. You'll see. If you don't believe me, you got to wait till the end of the video. But this is a quick, quick recipe, guys. Alrighty, nice and easy. We're going to put this in the oven at 375 for about 25 minutes and we'll be right back. Alright, just came out the oven. Um, 25 minutes in I put some, you're supposed to put poppy seeds but I had sesame seeds on here. 
And I put a little bit more of our butter, uh, mustard, paprika mix right here. And it looks amazing. Now let's pop this off. It is still hot, but come on, come on. And it did puff up. So at first it looked like I didn't put enough, but it looks pretty cool now. We're gonna brush it with a little bit more of the butter. Just get it nice and, you know, juicy looking. Just like a great game day snack. You guys gotta agree with me on this one. Looks pretty cool, I was worried. Cause it looked like there was so few in the, uh, the pan, but it did puff up. Let's put a bunch of this butter on here. Goodness. I was just eating this, just like dipping my finger in this thing. It tastes so good. I like mustard. I like the little funky flavor. And we're just gonna put more sesame seeds because it looks cool. Now I took the middle part out just so it would make that hole there for more French onion, honey mustard. So let's put that in there. Doesn't this look really cool? Check this out. Like, <clears throat> this is a great game day snack. So let's take a little piece off. Woo, look at that. Nice. Maybe that hot dog got a little burnt on top because it was peeking out a little too much. All right. Cheers. I'm double dipping, so. Cause I'm donating the food, not the dip. It's a good game day snack, it really is. Mm. Pull apart pigs in a blanket. What would I do differently? Um, I mean, you could have used, I guess you would need three crescent rolls to get it really stacked and puffing up. You might have to cook a little bit longer. Um, make sure all of the hot dogs are like down inside so it doesn't kind of burn. But this is great, tastes amazing. Uh, it will look really cool. Um, try it for your next game day. Hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.